13th. You look confused, is it? Is it? I don't know. Well, let's look. I think so, I'm pretty yeah. sure it is. Yeah. How do we forget day to day? I just... Because, well, I'm getting old. I don't know how you forget. It is January 13th. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Okay, hey, right off, I'd like to invite you to go to uh, fatguyrunningblog.com. There's a new post up, and it kind of... It kind of explains why I'm doing what I'm doing in part of one of the paragraphs. And so, you know, I'd love to have you come take a look at it and uh, maybe make a comment on the blog. Uh, I'd nice to know if someone's actually reading what I'm writing at 1 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, but, but she'll put the fatguyrunningblog.com down below here and you can find it. Or I'll have a link on Facebook here. Uh, happy birthday to Max Clanton, Elena uh, Elias. That's that's. Elena Elias, that's pretty cool. Tracy Harris, Pam Hull, Christy Rowe, Ronald Schultz, Dave Walden, and Ann Wal uh, Waters. Boy, I kind of stumbled through that, didn't I? Uh, then on uh, my Facebook friends, we've got uh, Anna Cho. Anna's got to be a lot smarter than me. She went to Stanford and studied political science. You can go to Stanford, you're just brilliant, you know. So she uh, works for Morgan Stanley, and uh, so. I've never met her. She's friend of a friend kind of a thing through Facebook. So happy birthday to Anna. And another uh, person that's kind of, a, you know, through through Facebook is Mark Korn. And uh, he's a network marketer. Uh, I believe he's in New Jersey. And I see some of his posts and watch some of his stuff. And a uh, pretty bright guy and enjoy seeing him up there. Uh, and then Facebook friends that, that, I, that I know, uh, Kathy Epler Beeman. Kathy was a year older than me in school, and we were in 4-H together, and, and uh, you know, Kathy's just a great gal. And uh, I haven't seen her for a few years, but uh, she's probably not changed much. Doesn't look like it. So, uh, happy birthday to Kathy. And uh, then uh, Sean Graham. Uh, Sean is uh, a young guy that I, I babysat a few times back when I was in college. I worked with his mom at a nursing home in a summer during college, you know, so it was, it was one of those uh, one of those things where I, now he's grown up, he's adult, he had a restaurant here in town for a while, uh, his niece is our, our uh, Miss Columbus this year, and uh, so uh, happy birthday to Sean. And now we're going to talk a little bit, <coughs> going to talk a little bit about uh, tooth erosion. Now, there's different ways on how teeth can wear down. Erosion and abrasion, um, and then wear, just general wear. Erosion is caused by chemicals of some type, uh, whether it be uh, uh, citrus, acid, uh, Pepsi, Coke, soft drinks type of thing. That type of wear tends to be real even, and it wears it down from the outside, uh, and it uh, just thins the enamel but yet can get enough to where it gets into the dentin and starts really causing decay. Um, like I said, Coke and foods that have uh, acid in it, uh, oranges, lemons, uh, you'll see it with someone who likes to suck lemons. And you, there's, they basically trash their teeth, and they don't realize they're doing it. Uh, even as much as a, a lemon a day in your iced tea that you take out and you squeeze and you know, bite into like that, you need to get that rinsed off pretty quick. Uh, and then, of course, uh, in uh, bulimia and when uh, stomach acids, if you have GERD, uh, then you, you constantly are reflux stomach acid, that's, that will do it. That's no good. Um, but uh, things like that, it's a chemical erosion of, of the tooth as opposed to abrasion, which is a mechanical uh, breakdown of the tooth, usually caused by like toothbrushes going too hard. And then, of course, there's wear, which basically comes from grinding. So, all kinds of ways to trash your teeth, but today the erosion was the topic, and that comes from chemicals of some type. So, we get it? Got it. You like that? Yep. No, I don't like it. It's no good, because we're always putting people back together. That you can, And you can tell if somebody has it, because it's very, the backs of the teeth are just smooth. They're just crossed like that. So. Um, we got a, a link of the day. Uh, was this from Kathy? Yeah. Yeah, people beating on each other at work. It's what all I saw. It's really funny though. <coughs> it just shows you how stressful a workplace can be. But not here though, right? No. It's, okay. All right. No it's like a day be. spa here. A day spa. That's how that, 
relaxing this there you go. work environment is. Okay, well, come, come with me for a while. We'll <laughs> rock and roll. So, uh, alrighty. Well, you guys have a great day. Uh, there again, please go to the fatguyrunningblog.com. Take a look at that, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.